Hello, and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Well, we are down here in the Crystal Caves, where we're not too far from uh, where Marguerite's base is. There's our vent garden scanner, and there's Marguerite's base over there. But I've come down here because, from what I recall, this is where we need to find this. And it's also where we'll be able to find the place to put all of these together and complete the story on a land side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this place first. I'm going to I'm going to leave our modules over there because I need to be a bit more nimble. Last time I was down here, we were up against Leviathans. There's uh, there's apparently two of them. I thought there might be just one, but there's not. There's two. So we actually need to find among all this lot. A way down into the place where the the next part is, the next component. I mean, oh, there's more kinite down there. There was. I think we came in here originally with a a Mark II depth module that allowed us to do 650 meters. Now we've got a Mark III, and that's allowing us to do well, thousand meters. Ooh, I can hear something. I'm just having a mooch around because I know there's a... Oh, jeez Louise. If I crash, I don't care. I just want to stay out the way of that thing. I mean, I've actually got that, that module there in slot number two. Hopefully that will give it a bit of a shock and keep it away from us. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So I'm just having a look around because I'm trying to get some sort of bearings because I think I know what this place looks like. It's just a, it's like it's a massive area of crystals. And then that, oh is that, no. I keep looking because it's like you, from what I remember for the last time I played the game, I mean it is still an early access, bear in mind. It was just this this area was massive area of crystals and you had to go down inside of these in this environment are confusing my senses and yet I feel certain there is something important below a facility or a body component perhaps both I cannot tell it is it's actually both now is it this one here it could be this one here yeah, this looks familiar. Now, I don't know how far we'll be able to get. I just remember coming down at us. Definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Yes, yeah, so you've got this big, massive area of crystals. I think last time I did it, I just came down myself. But it looks like we can actually get inside with a sea truck. Or at least so far. Oh yeah. Oh that's cool. We can get all the way with a sea truck then. Right, let's jump out then. Interesting. Now that's one thing I'm noticing. There's no there's been no request for tablets or anything. Normally we've had to build things. You know, we've had to actually construct tablets. Yeah, we've had to construct tablets to be able to get into these alien bases. And at no point have we actually ever been asked to do that. Now I've got to be careful. Yeah. If you come in if you come into one of these at a height, you'll end up getting dropped. Uh that causes quite a bit of damage. So it's not in your interest to do that. It's a fascinating so, like, when you think about the, what these are, uh, ancients actually were up to, and some of these places that they built, they're definitely cool. I mean, they were all over this world. But then, I mean, you think about, like, the technology they must have had as well, to be fair. Ooh. Shiny. You will be able to 
construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our New designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. How come you're scanned all the components we need to make a storage? Uh, New creature body. discovered. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Okay, I've no idea how the heck that triops is swimming around here. How did it do that? It, it swims in the sea. So how, how is it swimming among all the air? I'm, I'm curious. In fact, how did it even manage to breathe? I'm, I'm definitely intrigued now. So I think I'll, I think I'll just pop it outside. <laughs> I think, it, I think it'll have a better chance of survival out there, to be honest. But anyway, so yeah. So there's been no sort of like prompts or anything to tell us to come here. But yeah, All right. We'll just pop out here. I'll do my good, good environmental. Thing now, look at that, it can breathe underwater as well. Who knew? Right, oh, we have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great, what's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility, it is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility, so you planned on needing to make new bodies. It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Did all of your people have access to that kind of mobility? Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. All of my people were not invited. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. One does not simply cease to be scientific. Don't I know that? So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then- Please, Robin. You have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. We'll come back to this later. <clears throat> We're at a depth of 666. Oh no! There you go. That feels better. Right. Somewhere out here, there's something deeper. And there's also some... Well, there's some big nasty leviathans as well, I must admit. But somewhere is a place we need to go, and it's a lot deeper. And that's where the fabrication facility is. Now, if memory serves, if it's like, if they haven't changed it, the crystals send up a different colour. That's the challenge, is finding the blooming place, though. It certainly feels big. I mean, these are massive, cavernous areas. Ah! 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 Is this it? Yes. Because, yes, 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 yes. Oh, that was lucky. What isn't lucky is there's going to be leviathans around here somewhere. Right, so we're, we're past the depth of what the, the original Mark II module could have done. So you definitely need the Mark III. <gasps> Ooh. Leviathans. I'm gonna have to get out and repair this because I'm I'm doing more damage just banging into things. <laughs> right, let's fix this. Can't believe this. I'm probably doing I'm doing more damage to this thing than the uh, blue and sea creatures are. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh. Run! The presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. 
I don't care, I'm just running. Right, so looks like... Oh, jeez Louise, there's a one over there. Right, I don't... Oh, it's over there. Oh man, stop banging into things. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Ah, there's a slight flaw in my plan. I've just realized I don't have the actual... I need all the elements to actually make this in the first place. Nope. Oh. Brain, not thinking. And I don't even have a beacon. I can't even believe it. I didn't even bring a beacon. Right, so, the idea is we would put the components into these, because it's actually showing you how where, where we actually make each individual part. Yeah, it shows you where to make each individual part. The process requires you to build each component before you can assemble the whole. Yeah, yeah, I've kind of figured that bit. And then, then we build a body in there. Blimey, it's seriously dark in here. Oh, there's a thought. Nope, it's still dark in here. Man, it is seriously dark. I mean, you would think like the lights would have been... We could have put in better lighting systems. And now we'll be able to move around and look at the thing. Uber. So I'm going to have to go back to base now, make all of those individual items, or collect them. And we're going to have to come all the way back here, but at least we know where it is now. Let's... Yeah, I mean, I suppose if you play that and you've, you know what to get next time around, it'll be easier. So I, I mean, I would... See, that would be handy if I had more than one... Sea truck, I suppose. I could do that, actually. I could... Uh, yeah, I mean, I could sort of teleport back to there. Swim all the way back. I mean, that's quite... I suppose that could have been handy, actually, if I'd left the original sea truck over there. I could have just teleported back to base and then come back with a new with a new uh, sea truck. Hmm. Anywho, I need to get all those components. We need three kyanite, I've noticed. Three kyanites, you need three magnetite, four titanium, two lithium, one... I don't like the sound of that thing. Was that... I keep forgetting what that stuff... Was it phenyl aniline or some polyaniline? Synthetic fibres are easy, the aerogel's easy enough. More nickel in the kyanite. Right, I'll go and search of them. Ah, I wish I'd found this earlier. I was down here. Ah, uh, there's Marguerite's base. Just up there. And I was heading back to the, the actual sea truck when I noticed this data box down here. And it's actually got a blueprint for a still suit, which allows you to get like water back from the actual still suit itself. So it like preserves your water while you're actually swimming around, which is dead handy. But I'm still gathering most of the components. And then it's a case of we'll head back down into there. Ah, oh, now this is interesting. I went back to the actual, um, all those modules that we've got for the sea truck, because I'm heading back now to where we we're actually going to make this body. And on the way over here, I mean, I was keeping mostly to the right, and as I've been coming over, I came across this fragment here, which is for a torpedo arm. So you only need two, but if you can find another one of these, you'll be able to make an actual arm. They can, uh, for the prawn suit, they'll be able to shoot torpedoes, it seems. I'm not specifically looking for one, like, but that's interesting, you know? Anyway, I need to figure out how on earth to get back to this this place where we make, the, make Alan's body, because I'm just kind of like been sticking to the right so far. I can't remember off the top of my head how I managed to get to the down there in the first place. It's, I'm looking for like where it's deep, 
trying to find where it's at its deepest. Oh, <laughs> ah, things are starting to get red over there. Yeah, we're getting into a much deeper area here. Ah, so there's the castle area or whatever it was called over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Shoo. Like I said, go away. Yeah, definitely, definitely handy having that defense uh, shield on you. Right, somewhere out here is where we need to go. I just need to find it. <laughs> ah, there. Is that it? It's starting to get redder. Yeah, we found our way back. Right. I think. <laughs> that looks that looks familiar. There's like kind of like a structure down there. So yeah, that looks kind of familiar. I mean that's still suit incidentally. Yeah. You get reclaimed water, so it costs you food. That's not too bad. So I mean I made the still suit, as you can see. And as you're swimming along gives you water back and I must admit I use up more water than I do oxygen uh, than I do oxygen than I do I use up more water than I do food I'm always I'm always 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 running out of water so that's not bad I must admit because food's not uh, too difficult I mean what I've started doing to be honest is I, I keep quite a lot of those those fish in the uh, the containment area the bladder fish I think they're called and the good thing about that is it gets me I can basically just breed them and it gives me pretty much like a constant supply of water but what I've been doing then is oh I just realized I'm not in the sea truck for the sea truck module but because we've got an aquarium I can keep a lot of those in the actual aquarium so if I get short of water while I was out and about I could uh, get my water pretty easily through there uh, ah, I don't remember it being this difficult to find this place. Is it down there, maybe? One thing I've noticed is every time I get back into this truck... Ah, oh, there it is, down there. Every time I get back into the truck, it remembers that I've got that defense system activated, so I always have to keep pressing the button or remind myself to do that. Just try and plunk it down here a bit out of the way. And we'll go in at a low angle there so we don't uh, pull down from a height and break our neck. Right, so we're back here. Now that one... Okay, that's not allowing me to do anything. Ah, there you go. So we've got to touch the actual thing itself. Right, okay, so we touch that and... So Alan, the craft. you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Okay. You're being quite evasive, you know. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Is this going to turn into some sort of like, something like that alien off the film and it's going to start ripping us to shreds? This could go bad. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacterium? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Commencing storage and fabrication. 
the escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Um. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Ooh. What a numpy. It's made the place uninhabitable. Good for you, dude. So, that's the body. So, presumably, we now need to get our land to transfer across to it. Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Seriously? Right. Here goes nothing. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Hello. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess, repair, make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. I thought I knew better. Oh, no. Oh, that was weird. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. The laboratory was destroyed. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. That is an accurate assessment. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. I had calculated you might be angry. Well, I'm not impressed. I was certainly manipulative. But I've also made my own share of mistakes, and I need to know we didn't just go through all of this for nothing. So I'm still committed to helping. A surprisingly calculated response for a human. You've been brave, in a way. You could have just let the power go out, but you kept trying, and you're still trying to find a solution. It is the most statistically sound response. I accept your help. I will leave you a signal. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must... Signal prepare. location uploaded to PDA. It's interesting the arms that it's got, they're not actually attached as such. So like remote robots, if you will. There's something, I'm sure there's something this scanner kind of picked up here. Yeah. This one has kind of picked something up. Alright, okay, so I can talk to our land from there. Right, so this is where we made body. Just a curiosity. Please, I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready, but for now I have much to prepare. Oogly doogly. Right, well I need some water. I mean I could have taken that I suppose. Right, so it says we've got to meet... Ah, now I suspect that the gate 
We've got a P we've got a PDA location. Ah, oh, there it is there. So it's a, a green artifact. So I wonder if that's the actual Just out of curiosity. We put that near fire robotics. Oh, fire robotics is over there. Because I've just got a funny feeling it's near the same place, but because there's a gate there. But we'll see. Right, we I need to get out of here in one piece and find this gate then. Ah, I might have known it would be back here. I mean, I've, I've come back into this base here because this is this is where we need to be, but the trouble is I can't get any further. I think I originally came in here early on, but what I'm finding now is I, I, can't, I can't get past here. It's like some sort of invisible wall that's just blocking me. She's not walking any further, I can't jump and I doesn't matter which side I try. It's it's the same. So you can see there's something over there. It seems the whole building seems more like alive. I managed to get some data out of that facility there, but it just says to be decided, so I'm surprised to be honest that I thought the game was finished, but I think it's a case of, well, I say the game, I mean story was complete, but it's not. Well, it, it kind of is, if you will. I mean, we've, we've got further than I originally ever got, where we've been able to build a body, we've been able to get uh, a land back into that body, and that's about as far as we can go, it seems. So we know to come back to here. So they've, they've, they've definitely done some updates to do that, but I've got to admit... The storyline's just its definitely lacking. I preferred the original story that they had. Because if you go back to the early Subnautica, it was a very immersive game, or at least I found it was. You were basically crash-landed on this planet, and you had to survive. So you're playing this uh, main character who has to survive. I mean, not just against the environment, but then we're running into a virus, there's an alien gun, there's, but there's also this interesting backstory, a plot about uh, the Degassis, I, I finally found that out. We're talking about Paul Degassi and he features in the main trailer for Subnautica. So you find about, you know, this, this ship that had crashed before, we, we learn about Paul and his father and we also learn about Marguerite who incidentally survives. So that's an interesting thing I found out in in this game is that Marguerite survived, she's still here, except she's right up in this uh, frozen zone, which incidentally we get to see on the ending of Subnautica. We, we get an interesting plot that gets added on in terms of a land, because we learn more about what happened in Subnautica in terms of he's the one behind this, um, this whole research facility about trying to find out about the carafe, trying to find a cure about it. He's the one that basically screwed it all up and uh, got the, the, the actual bacteria released. Uh, or the, the virus, I should say. The difference uh, between a virus and a bacteria. But the, the idea is we're learning more about what happened in Subnautica. So I just don't get this plot where they've thrown in and changed it. Because the original storyteller left. And now he was the one who was behind Subnautica. And we would have seemed to have brought somebody else in. And to be honest, I don't like it. I don't like what's what they've done because Robin is somebody I can't really relate to when it comes to Sam because originally Sam she was up there on the station and she was helping Robin. Robin was stranded on this planet. I mean there was an extra twist where there was some colleague, work colleague that was messing things up and what have you but it was still a survival thing and then you've got this plot about a land going on but it was still about survival, it was still immersive, because it was you, you're playing Robin, and I could relate to that. Um, here is, it's, I don't know which is the main plot, to be honest, if, it, if the main plot is about Robin and Sam, it's kind of Latin, it's boring, quite frankly. I mean, I can't relate to it like Robin would, because we've never met Sam, except through videos, pictures and what have you. Uh, I just can't relate to that and I don't see, it seems irrelevant to the actual game really, I mean it's just, a, somehow that seems to be the side plot because this is, 
this whole thing about the aliens more interesting to me. The bit about um, Robin and Sam, I mean, okay, so she's come here to this planet to learn why her sister died. As it turns out, uh, by the sounds of it, uh, I can see what Sam was trying to do. She was trying to stop Altera, you know, basically uh, messing around with this bacteria or virus and she was trying to stop them so she made an, an antidote but then she also decided to sort of like sabotage the mining facility presumably to then stop Altera you know in their tracks uh, delay them which presumably is a case of you know would buy her time to then uh, neutralize the virus but it's I'm thinking I mean given the time it took me playing Robin to actually just use the antidote with that robot why didn't you do that in the first place why go to all that trouble of sabotaging the place I mean I mean I must admit there's nobody from Altera on the planet I mean maybe it's a case of you know we had that meteor storm they all evacuated and fair enough but either way I, I just don't see it just doesn't it feels like something that's been bolded on for the sake of an extra subplot whereas in Subnautica you had the main plot which was you surviving a subplot which was learning about the Degassis and that that all fit it all made sense because you could relate to Paul for instance because you were trying to do the exact same thing you were trying to survive you're trying to find out about oh blimey there's a virus and I've got to cue this virus how do I do it you could relate to the subplot whereas with this I think I just spoiled it I don't see them changing it to be honest it's from what I gather based on what they've done so far this seems to be it they just need to finish the game off this seems to be the game so there's, there's going to be this ending where well whatever happens with Alan at this stage uh, he's going to go home maybe she goes with him to help him uh, who knows but that main part of the story seems to be it uh, but it's definitely still an interesting game I must admit I like I like it I mean it, it, if you just want to play a game it's a game if you want an immersive game nah it just just doesn't float my boat definitely not the way in like Subnautica the original game did so it's a bit of a pity but well, we'll see we'll just wait for the next update see what happens then well thanks for making it to the end of this episode I really do hope you enjoyed it if so, then do please leave a like as will encourage YouTube's algorithms to suggest the video to others who might like it as well. If you have any tips or tricks for Subnautica, then please leave them in a comment below as would better than anyone watching this video. Though I do appreciate any feedback at all, even if it's just to say hello. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. It's free. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, as then you should get reminders when new content goes out. And if you'd like to support the channel, then consider becoming a Patreon. Alternatively, there's the option to make a one-off contribution through PayPal. I've left links for both options in the description below. But above all, I hope you like watching these videos as much as I enjoy playing Subnautica. Bye!